housing projects in Nairobi. Ladies and gentlemen, Nairobi residents and members of the fourth estate, my attention has been drawn to accusations captured in media that are in possession of land titles belonging to Jivanji and Pangani affordable housing uh, projects. Well, I recommend that uh, the Nairobi City County Assembly for bringing this matter up through the Lands and Urban Planning Committee. I would like from the onset to state the facts in regard to the two projects that were dear to my heart when I was serving as the second governor of this great city. It is important to note that the affordable housing projects in Nairobi was brainstormed and planned during the tenure of uh, the former governor, my good friend Evans Kidero, uh, who served as the first governor of Nairobi. It is during this time that the county government and the national government started collaborating on ways to revamp the seven old estates in Nairobi. This was to be done through a public-private partnership with the county providing land and the investors allowed to charge an agreed percentage on the property to make their profit. I want to bring to your attention that the leases, these titles for both Jivanji and Pangani were processed in 2018 during my time as governor. Check note that there was no meaningful progress in terms of development that happened during the previous administration before I took over, until when I took over. Indeed, under my tenure, we first struck the development by diligently negotiating an exit agreement between the county government and the tenants in respective estates with Jivanji and Pangani being one of them. We must acknowledge the fact that most tenants were all people and all families who had spent decades of struggle living in the estates. We therefore agreed to, to give every tenant a sum of Kenyan shilling 600,000 as a facilitation fee applicable for two years for them to find alternative accommodation within the city as they awaited the completion of the projects. Further, take note that being a people's governor by then, I was never going to allow forceful evictions or transfer of people without a clear plan. We had to ensure that the registered tenants are given priority once the houses are complete. This was eventually agreed and signed up between the county, the asset associations, and the respective uh, developers or other investors. We started the G1G project with a plan to put up 1,830 units, while Pangani was to give, or rather have, 1,562 housing units. The investors uh, had to pump uh, around three to four billion, as stated earlier. This was public-private partnership. I wish to state, it is my belief that Nairobi City County Government and the Oversight Committee in charge of this matter must discerning enough to know that the Ministry of Lands Registry are normally the custodian of the records. If they take time, they realize uh, the leases uh, were processed in the year 2018. It is officially captured. For instance, Jivanji, it is captured under the special uh, purpose vehicle that was used, that is Nairobi Bachelors Jivanji, Estate Limited, which is a private limited company incorporated under the Companies Act, and also uh, the certificates uh, of transfer of lease that was signed in June, July 2019 and witnessed by the Nairobi City County Government and uh, the joint registration of the uh, special purpose vehicles. These uh, joint ventures agreement were drafted and prepared uh, before I took over as governor. As was just, uh, ours was just an implementation of the 
projects. It is my humble submission that there is a grand plan by senior staff, politicians, and cartels who want to be allocated houses without following the due process. Whatever has been circulating, or whatever came up from the county assembly and the county government of Nairobi, I believe these were just diversionary tactics to divert the real issues. Because the other day I saw from Citizen TV that investors who had purchased these houses were complaining that despite them uh, investing millions, they are yet to be allocated with these houses, meaning the projects have stalled. It is well documented that during my tenure, uh, the county had a seamless and good working relationship with the national government in executing the affordable housing project in Nairobi. A good, a good example is the 1,370 affordable housing units in Park Road, Ngara project. It is the first affordable housing project of the Kenya government to improve people's livelihood and the first project of the affordable housing plan of the Big Four agenda by that time by the former president, Uru Kinyata. It is here that our legendary athlete, athlete uh, Mkimbiaji, Faith Kibiegon, who was gifted a spacious house by the current president. I therefore call upon the governor, uh, Johnson Sakaja, the Nairobi City County government, to focus on provision of providing necessary support to ensure the projects are complete without much drama na siasa. Because this is your master vipindi, master vipindre. This is the issue of vipindi. So easy is how I think they are trying to divert attention. Come and it was a citizen of the light investors were Kileta Shida. Now I was there yesterday kwa easy projects. Um, Pangani water, both the investors I can say they've done a good job. Uh, Pangani is over 12 floors, Jibanji Pay Menda. Now, I want to Rudi Nyuma Kidogo. The, under the um, joint venture agreements which were there, the county was to provide land. Our contribution in the county was the land. Investors was coming with their billions. Then they, 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 they do a joint registration of the uh, uh, the properties. So, what I did to clear my name, I wrote a letter to the land reg registrar that was uh, yesterday, demanding to know the current status of both the Pangani title deed and the uh, Jibanji. So, I did a letter to the land registrar dated yesterday, 23rd October 2014, which was received yesterday and stamped to the land's office. The land registrar uh Jibanji is LR number 209 stroke 5458 and the IR is there. Then Pangani is Nairobi block 4474. These letters were received. I paid via e-citizen through my Mpesa. A receipt from Sasa was issued. I was glad and I want to compliment the CS Ministry of Lands, the PS, uh, Mr. Nixon Courier for what they have done because I only spent less than 20 minutes and I was furnished with all the documents. So I wonder why the MCS and the county government uh, senior officials, including the uh, CECs, if I was a governor in 20, okay, 17, I was impeached in 2020. So three years down the line, now we're in 2023. You mean they didn't realize that the title was missing? The custodian of these records is the CEC, Lance, and the chief officer, uh, county chief officers. But I can since 2020, our owner at the title is Haziko. He kipindi ya hali ajuu na na condemn mambo ya Caribbean majina. Let me go to the records which were furnished to me by the Ministry of Lands. We have the official search, but first I'll go to the the leases. We officially, I pushed for these documents to be registered in the name of the Nairobi City County Government. On 16th July 2018, this is the green card 
because the pangani is under a block not under uh, 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 pangani is under cap 300 and uh, uh, the things under cap 281 if I'm not wrong so the list for pangani the, we have certified copies of the green card 16th July 2018, Nairobi City County became the owner from the national government. And then Liz was registered on the 20th September 2018 under a special purpose vehicle going by the name of Nairobi Pangani Estate Limited. It was a joint registration between the Nairobi City County and the investor of Pangani in 2018. And the projects started this is the list this was my county secretary by then peter kariuki this is the land registrar so the property was officially transferred to the county in 2018 this is pangani you go to jivanji the same thing this is the list this is my county secretary to make the matters worse, this is S.G. Mwangi, who was the chief officer by then, and the custodian of these titles. So we got our list for Jivanji on 2nd August 2018, single name of Nairobi City County, for the both properties. So in 2019, the special purpose vehicle for Pangani was registered jointly between the land, um, I mean between the county government of Nairobi as the owners of the land and the investor. This was booked uh, on July 25th, 2019. It was registered. My county secretary by then was Pauline Kahiga, the chief officer is the same guy who is now the CEC lands SG Mwangi. And he also, I think his name is appearing in the, on the transfer, yes. Chief Officer Lands. He ex in fact, he executed on behalf of Nairobi County and, and the County Secretary. And then the developer, or rather the investor, Abdul Kadir Ahmed, executed also. So this was a joint ownership between the investor and the county government of Nairobi. The same also for Jivanji and uh, I mean for Pangani, same process was followed in the, in the instance of time, I'll not go to the documentation, but I was furnished with the documents by the last office. Now, to make the matters worse, this same SG Mwangi, who was the SG, by, who was the, the chief officer by then, equivalent to a PS in the national government, is the accounting officer. He's the one who took the title deed. This application for registration on 25th July 2019, the title was received by S.G. Mwangi, who has been the custodian of this title for all these years. So I'll furnish you with all these documents so that Mutu Asoki Mbishe Kotini. Now, I also realized uh, the county government recently uh, uh, like